This game is an absolute piece of shit, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, what's up with all these different countries I can choose from? You're telling me there's five different Chinas? Which one do I play as? Also, why does Hirohito have five different Jins? That's not historically accurate. Also, Paradox, what's up with all the DLCs? You're telling me in order to play the game, I have to buy it six different times? Also, not to mention the fact that I bought three previous DLCs that are now in the base game. Come on, Paradox, give me my money back. Also, you're telling me in order to play as the Catholic Church, I have to pay for the DLC? What is this? The Protestant Reformation? Also, for a game that's based off World War II, you're telling me this is Germany's focus tree? Yeah, it's somewhat big. But you're telling me this is Germany's historical focus tree? Yeah, you got the Rhineland, and then what? You can befriend China or Japan? Come on, Paradox, add some more flavor. Also, Paradox, what the fuck is up with these focuses? For 70 days, I get three oil? Great, what am I supposed to use that for? Also, Paradox, I know we have to be kid-friendly and everything, but this is a World War II game. Where's my genocide button? I want to see the population numbers go down. Also, shout out to Turkey for whatever bullshit this is. Just look at how long this focus tree is. Why is it all so spread out? Also, why is almost every single fucking focus 70 days? Sure, we got a couple 35, but it's just all 70. By the time I even finish all this up here, World War II's already ended, Paradox. What the hell? Also, Paradox, I don't think the IDF is gonna like this one. What's this? Palestine? Not in my Hoi 4 game. Ah yes, that's more better. Surely David here will lead Israel to, uh, prosperity. Also, what the fuck's up with New Zealand's focus tree? You're telling me I have to pay for all this? The generic focus tree is probably better than this piece of shit. Also forgot to mention, this game is fucking easy. I could take a country such as Tanotuva and defeat the Soviet Union within like a week, Paradox. Come on, Paradox, get it together. Also, on top of being so fucking easy, why is this game so damn complicated? Like, what are all these stats here? Soft attack? What do I do, slap the enemy on the wrist? Also, Paradox, how the hell do I work the Navy? I know I have over 1,500 hours in this game. But what's the difference between a cruiser and a destroyer? Come on, Paradox. Get it together. Also, what the fuck's happening in Germany? What is this, TNO? Also, Paradox, why can't I push the enemy? I clearly have better stats. You're telling me my 16th soft attack can't penetrate their 22 defense? What the fuck is this game, Paradox? Well, fucking great. Looks like we just lost to fucking Ethiopia of all people. Also, what the fuck's up with this title? King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Elect of God? Who is this guy, Jesus? Also, why is South America in this game? And on top of that, why would you release a DLC for these nations? Who's gonna play them? Ah yes, much better now. Also, I wanted to come back to Turkey here for a little bit. Um, what the fuck is this? Excuse me? Huh? You see, Paradox, this is much more accurate. If you're gonna make a World War II game, at least get the borders correct. Also, Paradox, one last thing. What the fuck is this? Once again, with the border inaccuracies, why is there like seven different Chinas? You see, Paradox, was that so hard to fix? It took me 10 seconds to fix your broke-ass game. But alright guys, I think I'm done critiquing this shitty-ass game. Bye! The Thug Shaker, give me the Thug Shaker!